In today's video, I'll be doing two paintings. The first one, I'll be using my spouted cup, and the second one, I'm going to use some leftover paint from the first one and my swipe tools. So stick around and check it out. Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. The first painting that I will be doing, I'm working on a 14 by 18 canvas, and I've got my colors here. I'm also using my spouted cup uh, for this painting. I've got some deco art satin enamel black with artist loft black, golden interference gold, Windsor and Newton paints gray, Artist Loft Metallic Blue, Pebio Interference Green Yellow, and finally Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue with Folk Art Turquoise Shimmer. Now this black that I am putting down on the canvas first is the Deco Art Satin Enamel Black with the Artist Loft Black. I mixed that um, one part of the Satin Enamel with two parts of the artist loft and then two parts liquitex pouring medium and then a little bit of water and you could see the consistency that I had it it's a little bit thinner if you missed it you can kind of go back and uh, check that out so now I am just gonna put the rest of the colors in my cup and all of those colors are mixed with Floetrol and water only and I did not add any silicone to any of my paints all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue to fill this cup until it gets about to the bottom of the spout. And this, I don't know if I mentioned, this is a six ounce um, spouted cup. I do have this one available in my Etsy shop. I do have a 10 ounce cup as well. Uh, we're busy working on getting the 10 ounce split cups um, listed. In my Etsy store so I will have 10 ounce and 6 ounces available all right so just gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy the music and watch how this develops it is super cool and I will be back Okay guys, so here we go with the dried photos and you can see that this thing went crazy. The um, satin enamel helped create all of those cells. It's like kind of a cool lacing cells. I really like it. I wasn't sure if I was going to um, because I'm not always crazy about so many cells, but this one kind of turned out cool. You can kind of see the shimmer uh, in there when it spins. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, but some of the cells are raised 
glazed it's really kind of cool there's some cool texture to it and I like to see texture in my paintings so I really do like that as well all right guys don't forget I have a second painting coming up so stay tuned all right guys so here we go with the second painting and this one is an 8x8 canvas, it's just a small one, and the black paint that you see me pouring on here is runoff from the previous um, painting. I thought I'd use it as a base coat, and I have a little bit of the colors left. They're all the colors from the previous painting, so if you missed that, you can check the description or you know, watch the uh, first one again because I do um, go over those in the first painting. And uh, this one is for fun. I uh, was just wanting to use up these little bit of colors that I had left. Now it was trying. <laughs> it uh, had me go in there, but I didn't give up and I kept uh, with it until I actually had something that I liked. It's a little different, but um, I do hope you enjoy it and I will be back for the dried photos.
All right, so here we go with the dried photos, and I really like this painting. I don't think that these photos do it justice. Uh, the that green and yellow in the middle is super super bright and there's some interference gold also I just like the abstractness of this piece so I hope you guys like it I'd love to hear your thoughts so leave me a comment below don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video with someone you think may enjoy it and don't forget I do have a link to my Etsy shop in my description below if you're interested in any of my cups or my swipe tools and I have a bunch more videos I know you will enjoy and I'll catch you in the next one.